Welcome to the Kingdom Business Forum, a program where we inspire believers in business to advance the Great Commission through their business platform. I'm Vicki Norris. I'm Patrice Aguirre. Now, I came to know Patrice through his Biblical Entrepreneurship Program, which personally transformed me and my business. And now I operate with the Kingdom in mind. And I'm passionate about helping you discover the power of Kingdom principles for your business. Patrice, we are in Hampton, let's see, Hampton Roads region That's right. at the Transformational Leadership Conference here in Virginia. Um, and today we have the opportunity to interview Richard Cole, who's been a real catalyst in this area. I think it's going to be inspiring for our listeners. Yeah, well, we can think so. R Richard uh, was led to the table of entrepreneurship uh, as he was trying to raise capital of his company. Glenn Reppel kind of said, you know, Hey, and Glenn hey, Rappel is a, a is biblical a, entrepreneurship teacher. That's right. Um, and so, and and you know, and so Rich took BE on the Glenn, and uh, and since then he's just been 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 excited. One thing I also want our listeners to to know and viewers that Richard is also the one that, was, that has sponsored uh, us being here to have the Kingdom Business Forum here mm -hmm. uh, during this 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 entire week. So we would mm -hmm. appreciate him for it. So he's truly a Kingdom Business guy, and he's got a beautiful wife. Who is who? Who makes him look better than he is? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that um, you know one of the things that I've appreciated about being here in Virginia Beach is just seeing. Um, I feel like I'm at home in Portland, Oregon, because there's there's so much synergy here between the different groups, between the churches and the business leaders, and there's there's just a, a recatalyzation. It seems like of what's um, what God is doing, there's just, there's a movement here um, similar to what's happening in our area that's very encouraging to me. And there's people, I think, who will, who will hear about change, who will see where God is moving. Um, you know, they, they might, you know, sort of be interested for themselves. But then there's people who will internalize it, own it, and ignite others. And yes, that's, that's yes. who we're going to be interviewing today, Richard Cole. And and, I you know, I think I want to listen to the notes, Vicki, is that the Kingdom Business Forum, part of what we want to do is capture these movements and these agents around the country mm -hmm. so that we can bring it to our listeners so they can know that they're not the only ones. Right. You found me, that, that things are happening. And so, so, so I think uh, the Kingdom Business Forum is that resource for them to, to, to highlight those agents and those movements in various communities around the country. Mm -hmm. Just, just that put a plug in for ourselves in that. Oh yeah. Well, thank you. <laughs> we don't do it. Who will? That's right. <laughs> no, it's true. I mean, I think what we have is, you know, there's listeners out there who are, you know, just kind of finding out about marketplace ministry. I mean, I've only kind of known about it for the last year or so, and and really starting to think about, well, what can I do? You know, even in my business. You know, or I mean, I own a business. I'm just, you know, an employee. What can I do for to advance the Great Commission? And then there are other people who are already ignited, and and we want to, um, you know, advance those who aren't to the place of being ignited, and then to show them how they can apply uh, what the Holy, how the Holy Spirit is leading them um, in the marketplace. Um, so I want to introduce our listeners, though, to our guest, Richard Cole. He is chairman and CEO of Green, Green Global Holdings. He is a 1975 graduate of Oklahoma Baptist University. From the mid-70s to mid-90s, Cole led or participated in the acquisition, turnaround, and divesture of eight companies in four states. He spent the 1990s building, merging, acquiring, and selling companies and operating in the arenas of finance and executive leadership. From 2000 to 2009, Cole served as chairman and CEO of one of the nation's fastest-growing technology franchise companies, Geeks on Call. <laughs> and now Cole is chairman of Green Global Holdings, which he will be sharing with us today. He has turned his passion for business turnarounds into marketplace ministry. Mm. Mm, got a mm. call towards turnarounds, I think. Mm. He serves on several boards of directors, including our, um, our own That's Nehemiah right. Project International right. Ministries. And he's a business ministry catalyst in his own community of Hampton Roads, Virginia. He has been married to Catherine for 18 years. They have three grown daughters, Stacy, Jennifer, and Rebecca. Welcome to the program, Richard. Who wrote that? I did. You like it? You like it? Well, <laughs> it makes it about me, and it's not about me. Oh. It's, it's about Kathy. We know that. Oh, right. <laughs> married up. Married up. Every exactly. wise man marries up. Come That's on. Exactly right. <laughs> well, I want you to share with our listeners just a little bit about Green Global Holdings. Um, what led to its development? You know, as I, 
um, just looked at your bio and kind of prayed over it. It's like, how does a man go from corporate America, from this background in franchising um, to business ownership, you know, and, and this Green Global Holdings? How did that all come to pass? Wow. We don't have enough time for that. <laughs> Green, Green Global is an amalgamation of several companies that were formed uh, with intellectual property mm -hmm. um, whereby we stabilized some uh, disinfectants that we can use in third world countries. Wow. Um, th this whole dream was a result of a missions project to Uganda in Botswana. Wow. Where, it, where a pastor saw, Reverend Jimmy Jackson from Huntsville, Alabama specifically, saw that there were children that were taking care of children. And the reason children were taking care of children is because they didn't have any parents. Well, why didn't they have any parents? Well, their parents had died of AIDS. And what was going to happen to these children? Well, most of these children weren't going to survive into adulthood. And the reason was that they too were infected with AIDS. Now, you know, modern medicine has enabled us to suppress the HIV virus to some degree. But in doing so, the immunological system is compromised. Now, you take the, um, the HIV virus and you to move it to a third world country where you don't have um, good sanitation, you don't have clean water, and you have a little child's body, uh, and children taking care of children because there's not enough beds in an orphanage all the time. Uh, those children, as a result from a suppressed or compromised immunological system, develop chronic up upper respiratory infections. Mm. Um, they're always two days away from pneumonia and death. Mm. They develop mouth lesions as a result of drinking water from drainage ditches. Well, you know what else is in that drainage ditch? Raw sewage. So you take that water and you put it into a child, into an open sore in their mouth, and of course there's you know, all these blood vessels in your face. You, you, again, you're two days from septic shock and death. So the, the idea was if we could find something that we could provide to our medical missionaries cross-denominationally um, at no cost or low cost that would keep those mouth sores at bay, then the drugs that were being used to suppress the HIV virus would have a chance uh, to keep the disease at bay until modern medicine moved forward enough you know, we're always trying to stay, above, uh, stay ahead of technology because it's, you know, it's always just one more day or one more discovery till we find a cure. So the object is you keep it suppressed as long as you can. Um, and if we can keep those mouth sores at bay and keep that upper respiratory infection, um, um, you know, pushed back down, then those children have got a chance at life. Mm. So, you know, this is... This is really all about uh, children and the right to be conceived and move through life all the way to um, all the way through a natural life and move on to the kingdom of God. At the same time, uh, when you're ministering to the physical needs of these children, then you have the opportunity to share with them the love of Christ. Mm. All right and if, if you can do that when you have a mind that is open and still being formed, uh, you can develop a real uh, ambassador, a real warrior for the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Wow, Richard. Uh, Richard, you, you recently um, came to experience biblical entrepreneurship. Right. Uh, through how was that experience for you, and, and how has that impacted your journey in, in building this kingdom business. You know, Patrice, as we were um, putting our business together, uh, I've, I've raised capital now for 30 years. 
Um, and I was introduced to a man named Glenn Reppel from Orlando, Florida. Uh, Glenn is uh, got, he's a broker dealer, GA Reppel and Company, and he he's a kingdom guy. He, you know, he's that is Glenn. That's Glenn. <laughs> he's a kingdom guy. Glenn has a, a lot of the same passion. And Glenn said, you know, I, I like your vision, what you're doing with Green Global um, and, and all the, the green technology. I want to make absolutely certain that you and I are on the same page with regard to biblical principles and how we run our business. Would you take biblical entrepreneurship? Well, I didn't know he was the teacher. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I said, sure, I'll do that. And my business partner and I, we took... BE1 and BE2 together. Wow. And uh, Glenn taught both courses. And you know what that did for us is it helped us align mm -hmm. our roadmap. That's right. And it wasn't just my partner and I, but it was my partner and I and other ancillary groups that, were, that had come alongside to support us. Wow, wow, wow. You know, Richard, uh, from there you've kind of call this passion to you, you plan on being a certified teacher right. to the type of running a company uh, really uh, helping to spread BE not just throughout this country but around the world even raising money for it mm -hmm. you know I mean how do you go from just trying to raise money for your company to being impacted by this saying hey you know what <laughs> I'm all in mm -hmm. well you know you're either sold out or you're not yep. um, the the reality is is that our goal as Christians should be to be a lost cause for Satan, for the mm, evil amen. one. You know, he, we, we ought to be so sold out to Jesus Christ that the devil just says, man, I, I'm wasting my time pinging on that guy. <laughs> and, and the fact of the matter remains that we have a very, very well-defined road map. It's called the Bible. Mm. And if we read it, and we employ and deploy those biblical principles, we can change the world. And we can do it really very rapidly. Mm -hmm. um, you either read the book, and you get it, yeah. and you do it, mm -hmm. or you listen to what somebody else tells you the book says, mm -hmm. And I call it that borrowed faith, you know. It's, <laughs> well, I believe this because somebody else told me that's what the Bible says. Mm -hmm. yeah. You read it for yourself, you employ it, and then you deploy it. Mm -hmm. Richard, just two questions. One, your wife has been very instrumental in your journey. Oh. You know, kind of elaborate on that, but along, the second. Along the way. Clearly, they'll tell us what exactly Dream Global does practically. I mean, you have this line of product called Clean Hands, Pure Heart. Right. So, so our listeners can really understand exactly the marketplace implication of what you're doing. But All start right. with your wife, please. All right. Well, my wife, Kathy, is, is she's, my, she's my soulmate. And she is, for all practical purposes, my business partner. Mm -hmm. um, Kathy and I talk about our business all the time. Um, we, we, we believe that we're called to do ministry in the marketplace. Mm -hmm. um, it is where we can have the greatest impact. Uh, it's where we can see transformation, where lives are actually uh, effected positively um, because we have sown into somebody's life. Mm -hmm. And you can do that you know, either by praying for them, you can do it by, by giving them a, a financial hand, you can do it by, by mentoring, but sometimes it's just the ministry of presence. Mm. Kathy, is one, Kathy is one of those people that, uh, first off, you can't help but love. She's got a very gentle, sweet spirit, and she's and got she a, cooks. And she I mean, cooks. I mean, really, wow. Very she good cooks very well. <laughs> yes, that's a ministry of uh, food, Southern yeah. comfort. Yeah. But she, Kathy is encouraging, and she's compassionate, mm. and she sees, um, she sees the, the good and the possibility. Mm -hmm. And she's always looking to move to, to the next place. Um, so this is a family business. It That's is. It, is. it really is. Business. Now, Green Global Holdings, what do we do? Um, well, Green Global Holdings is just that. We're a holding company. We own several companies. We own um, a Clean Hands Pure Heart, which is a line of uh, hand sanitizers and uh, antimicrobial soaps. 
And the reason that it's different is that we don't take clean hands, pure heart to the marketplace in a usual manner. In other words, we don't go to the drugstores and the grocery stores with it. As a matter of fact, it'll probably never be there. The mission of Clean Hands, Pure Heart is to support the mission of someone else. Mm -hmm. So if there's a church, a youth group, a choir, a humanitarian project that needs to raise funds. Nehemiah Project. The Nehemiah Project. Mm -hmm. They can take Clean Hands, Pure Heart, and instead of selling um, cookie dough, pizza dough, um, <laughs> Christmas wrapping paper, you know, you can... Magazines. You, you, <laughs> magazines, that's right. You can sell con a consumable. Right. And it, it clean, it clean Hands Pure Heart is a non-alcohol based hand sanitizer. I that, love the spray, by the way, that goes in my purse. I've been wonderful. carrying it since Wonderful. <laughs> it, you know, they, they leave your, they leave your, it leaves your hands soft, it doesn't chap. And it works. It's a lovely smell. It actually works better than the alcohol-based hand sanitizers. It mm -hmm. kills more germs. So it's absolutely fabulous. But it's a consumable. You run out of it because you use it, so you have to buy more. Well, what happens when you buy more? Well, it's a sustainable, right. re repeatable source of revenue mm -hmm. for a project. So that's one aspect of the business. The other aspect of the business is a company called Novasource. And Novasource has a product line called proxy, P-R-O-X-I, means the alternative, um, you know, just like you vote by proxy, but specifically it's hydrogen peroxide. We've stabilized hydrogen peroxide and we've developed a whole line of consumer packaged goods uh, that are disinfectants, body washes, uh, hand soap, hand sanitizers, toothpaste, mouthwash, that are all based on a stabilized hydrogen peroxide. And the advantage of that is? It's clean. It's clean. It's green, mm -hmm. completely green, won't mm -hmm. harm the water table, mm -hmm. and it kills germs. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so right. today you have options A in the grocery store. It, it cleans. But it's destructive. But it's destructive. Mm -hmm. Right. Or it makes things clean, but it won't kill any germs. Right. Um, so this is a massive differentiator of your product. I mean, people need to hear that yeah, very well, clearly. What, what's really going to happen is it's going to revolutionize the green space. Yeah. And because it's, it, it's like walking down the center of the grocery store aisle and say, you know what, this, this doesn't exist on either side. You could have clean or green or both. Yeah, that's exactly right. Okay. So we're excited about it. Um, and, and we, as a, as a, as a corporation, uh, you know, one of the things that we've done is we've set up a, a foundation and a portion of all of our profits go into our foundation and we support ministry with them. Mm -hmm. And uh, Clean Hands, Pure Heart, it all goes back into ministry. So I'm going to jump in here, Richard, because I think some of our listeners, you know, I'm just thinking from the layperson's point of view, they're, they're thinking, wow, this guy's been in, you know, corporate America, he's done all this mergers and acquisition, he's like this big business guy. And, and now he's like practically a rocket scientist, you know? <laughs> like, you know, wow, you're talking about the AIDS epidemic and, you know, and how this product and, or line of products really can even, you know, help, um, you know, help keep AIDS at bay. And, and someone out there is listening and thinking, well, gosh, you know, I don't have that lofty of, you know, of a gift to bring to the marketplace. You know, I, I can't make that big of a difference. Speak to that person. Tell them how you've been ignited or, or give an encouragement to that person. Well, I'll share this with you. Every one of God's children is gifted. Amen. They are blessed. With every spiritual blessing. Every spiritual blessing. They have them. Now, this business of being a Christian is a journey. And, and I claim to be a toddler. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm right here, okay? I'm learning to stand and walk. And I know many mature Christians, but, you know, most of us are, we're, we're still learning, and we stumble and we fall. But if you can find a mentor, someone, and, and usually it's the, the seniors that, mm -hmm. you know, are, are all around us that are mature in their faith, mm -hmm. if, you, if you can watch them, mm -hmm and emulate them as they have emulated Christ, mm. 
Mm. Then, by example, you begin to do the same thing. Mm. Now, in every one of us, there is a golden idea. Mm. There is a golden idea. It, there's nothing that should ever keep someone from thinking not just outside the box, but beyond the box. And, beyond the bubble. And beyond the bubble, really. Mm. Um, it, 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 you've got a good idea. Share that idea with as many people as you can. Um, it, there are some folks that are going to catch the vision, and they're going to come alongside you, and they're going to say, you know, let's, let's, let's walk that together. Mm. Biblical entrepreneurship, if it's in your area, I would encourage you, if you're an aspiring entrepreneur, or you, you don't even think you're an entrepreneur, but you want to understand the biblical principles of business, That's right. take a biblical entrepreneur course. Yeah. You'd be surprised. And now you can get it on DVD, you too. You can get so. it on DVD. You right. can do a self-study. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not expensive at all. But what happens to you is you begin to understand the spiritual gifts that God has given you. He's blessed you with mm -hmm. them. So and, that you can... Yeah, and, and you, then you begin... You know what? Take a tiny step. Mm -hmm. Just take a tiny step and do the study. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then take another step in faith. Mm -hmm. And before long, you realize, you know, I can make a difference. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, sometimes, that little tiny step mm -hmm. ignites a fire in someone else. Yep. Wow. Yep. Richard, you know, thank you. Oh, oh yeah, I just wanted to say, Richard, that... Um, I think what this is reminding me of is the Identifying Opportunities chapter, which I just taught oh, yeah. in Biblical Entrepreneurship. And what you're really doing, um, what you've done, and what anyone, any believer can do in business is take their gifts, skills, and abilities and match them not to an opportunity, but to a need, mm -hmm. to a need that the world has. Mm -hmm. And that's what you've done, is that there is a need for clean and green. Right. There is a need for um, beating back disease. Mm -hmm. And that's what you've done. And the, every one of us can look at our gifts, skills, and abilities and say, God, see, I believe a very um, powerful prayer uh, to the Lord is, what do I have that the world needs? Mm -hmm. And when I first prayed that, I know that the Lord was pleased with that. Mm -hmm. And that, that's a very, that, that now he says, ah, my eyes, which are searching to and fro throughout all creation, can rest on this man or this woman. You're exactly and, right. And, and that now I will strongly support him or her. Vicki, mm. we don't suffer from lack of need. <laughs> there, there are innumerable problems that need to be solved. Mm -hmm. The question is, is just which ones are you going to solve? That's right. Richard, thank you, man. Mm -hmm. Look forward to having you back. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Wow. Um, you know, what I love most about uh, Richard is his passion and his unconditional commitment. Uh, he went along with his wife to the Kingdom Cause. He'll, he'll be in Portland soon. Mm -hmm. We're going to experience those products and, uh, and he'll, and uh, I tell you, Vicki, this is good stuff. This it is, good is stuff. it is. And I'm, I'm just inspired that um, every man, every yeah. woman, yeah. Um, is if they're a believer in Christ, they can not only um, take the ideas and gift skills and abilities God's given them and meet a need, mm -hmm. but they um, they are actually called to do that with with the Lord putting in them um, good works in advance that mm -hmm. He prepared for them to do. Mm -hmm. It's about getting aligned with the Holy Spirit so that He can direct you to exactly um, what that great call is. And what. I listeners and viewers need to pay attention to is you said mash the gift skills and talents with the need not, need, the, opportunity. not the opportunity and that's an important distinction because you're trying to get folks to understand don't chase after opportunities right. but rather pursue needs it's exhausting so i've tried it it doesn't <laughs> that's right. work that's listeners right. uh, let me save you some time and money and angst <laughs> it doesn't work find a problem you can solve and that's you get right. paid that's right but find a problem you, you can solve to, and not only will you get paid right. but when he's solving problems I mean, he's doing it as an ambassador Amen. Amen. of Christ, and it's, it, it truly is making uh, a kingdom impact and a global impact. And as a mother, uh, to think about children, oh, taking care of children, oh, that is just, um, it is just heartwarming. So 
Um, I want to thank Richard Cole, and I want to thank you, our listeners and viewers of the Kingdom Business Forum, for tuning in. Please do find us and connect with us on Facebook. Just go to facebook.com, type in Kingdom Business Forum. You'll find us there. Get connected. You can watch our videos and um, be connected to all these amazing entrepreneurs, business owners, and just Kingdom Business Stewards who all over the world are following the call of God through business. Thank you for joining us.